Stop it, baby. <laughs> hmm, you are the only one in my life, Alex. <laughs> Come on, you have me already, Alex. You know, many of you men doubt the faithfulness of women. But I can boldly beat my chest. You are the only one in my life. <laughs> Come on. Hey, 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 hey. You will not drag me with anyone. Just as I believe that I will not drag you with another woman. Okay? And so it will remain. They will always get close, but they will never succeed. He belongs to me. He's all mine, even in death. If I can't have him, no one else can. What exactly are you driving at? You are avoiding me and you know it. Look, whatever it is that you think I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing for your own good. It's in your interest. Believe me. I, I, I still do not get it. For my own interest. Why, if I may ask? Quincy, I think that you should stay away from me. Okay. Even if I've done anything wrong to you, please, I beg you to please forgive me. Just tell me what it is. I promise to apologize. But we can move on. I've done nothing wrong. So why do you want to end things with me? Even if I spend the entire day explaining things to you, you will never understand it. So please, for your own good, just stay away from me. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving nothing. Tell me why you want to end things with me. Yes. I won't. I'm not leaving. want me to understand the fact that you blocked and unfollowed me on social media on whatsapp everywhere well i'm sorry i am not going to understand anything until you start telling me what i should understand it's not you okay it's me you have not offended me in any way I mean, look at you, you're a beautiful woman. You're the best, I dare say. Please, baby. Any man who, who sees you would, would want to go for you, but... But now, not me, okay? Please. Why do you want to end things with me? I have given you a significant part of my life. Even if I did something wrong to you, at least just tell me. Tell me I, I will apologize and I promise to change. Please. I'm, I'm ending things with you because I don't want you to end up in a disastrous way. That's why. I, I don't understand.
it's hard for for you to understand because there is no easy way out of this. There is no way to make you understand but for you to just trust that I know what I'm doing and just give me some time to sort myself out. Johnson, giving you the time you want means you breaking away from me. And I'm sorry, I am not going to allow that to happen. Why are you making this hard for us, Quincy? What have I made hard? My man is gradually drifting away from me and all I am doing is to get my man back. Can't you see that I'm different? Can't you see that I, I am incapable of continuing this relationship with you? Can't you see that a few things are different with me? Listen, just stay away from me, okay? You find another young man who wants to marry you, go ahead and marry him. But right now, I need to sort myself out. I don't know how long this is going to take. Justin, are you, are you really serious about this whole thing? Like, you're breaking up with me? Now tell me, who is she? Who is the lady in your life? Who is she? This is not about a, a woman. Talk to me. Is she finer? Richer? Talk to me. You need to say something to me. Johnson. Johnson, I said, say something to me. At least tell me why you are leaving me. Tell me why you want to end everything with me. Talk to me, please. I'm begging you. So this is what I get after a long period of waiting, right? Thank you. <sighs> this is hard. This is really hard. Hello? James, how far now? Tell me that what did happen? The game don't enter. You tell me say go ahead, what's it back at play? Ooh, just I don't waste my money so. What did you the play? Oh yeah, wait, wait, I'll, I'll call you back. Wait, wait Mumu. I didn't see this coming. Johnson broke up with me after everything I've put into this relationship to make it work. What do I tell my friends? After boasting that Johnson and I are simply inseparable, Johnson has hit me below the bed. Will I ever survive this colossal shame? They go come, enter her as a smile. Then they come up for her, they carry face. Oh, they, they change her for me for a year. Marry, you know what, marry? They carry different fingers every day. Me, you marry, make all this nonsense stop. Me, I don't tire. Ah. Johnson. Yeah, okay, she, she just left. Johnson. You have to do this. Eh? I don't have a choice. Mother is an offense, punishable by law, and I don't want to get involved in murder. She, she had to go, I'm sorry. Listen, Johnson. You have to see a psychiatric doctor. Kitcha, how can you say that to me? Listen, I am sorry to say this to you, Johnson. But your case is a pure case of insanity. Guy, you're, you're insulting me. I'm not insulting you. I cannot insult you, my friend. I am honestly telling you the truth. Okay, that's it. I have to go. Johnson. 
Later, 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 later. later. Johnson. Beautiful girls to find me attractive, they want to get involved with me. And at the end of the day, I have no choice but to just dump them. Now this is this is the sixth one in two years. Quincy is the sixth one in two years, and she's the one. She's one woman I really don't want to lose. But I just lost her. How do I come out of this alive? Just how do I come out of this alive? If I'm to ask a question, then I'll ask myself, yeah. What is happening? What is happening to me? This out to kill and take a life of someone I love This force that is pushing me Pushing me to end the life Whoa, This minute I am me The other minute I am a monster What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I am me the other minute I'm a monster, I'm a monster. Yeah. What's really happening? What's happening to me? Yeah. I said it. Women are not supposed to attach their lives to men. For men are not wired to make us happy. They're here to make us pain, to hurt us. Emirad, please. This is not what I need at this point. It is so obvious to you that I am going through a lot. And the kind of argument you are presenting, I don't want it. It won't help. Please. Automatically, I should paint it the way you want it to be. I should say what will make you happy, right? No, I won't. Were you not happy when you left to go and be with this man? And at the end, what happened? He broke your heart. He tore your heart into shreds and left you a wreck. If you go to this guy's house now, you'll be shocked that he has moved on with his life. As if nothing ever happened. Possibly with one um, uh, chip of a woman who doesn't understand her power as a woman. Emirat, please. Can you just allow me to nurse my pain in peace? Please. I should allow you to nurse your pain in peace. Yes. The pain you brought upon yourself. It wouldn't have gone to this point if you had listened to me. Emirat, for the fact that it is so easy for you to operate without a man in your life does not mean that all ladies are wired like that. No, you don't tell me that. All ladies are wired like that. It's just a few of them like you who think you cannot do without a man. Therefore, making men to feel very important. Talking around nonsense. You can find your way out. I'll leave. But believe me, I'll always tell you the truth. You are a classy lady, for God's sake. Why would you allow all these men to, 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 to treat you like one piece of trash? What is all this? What is happening? What is happening to me? 
There's out to kill and take a life of someone I love This force that is pushing me Pushing me to end the life oh, This minute I am me The other minute I am a monster What is happening? Hey! What, what, what is all this? Do you want to drink yourself to death? I just left Queen Seeker. And that is why I came to talk some sense into you. And I'm so hurt because I still love her, you know. <sighs> See, if, if a soothsayer had told me that you would dump Quincy, just like you've been doing to others. I wouldn't have believed it. So, no, no, tell me, what, what, what happened again this time? I know, and that's why it's affecting me this way. I know, man. Ah. Okay, gee, I can't see myself committing murder. Do you understand? Murder as in killing someone? Yes. How does it always happen to you? Look. That is a strange, very strange but strong urge to, to kill my woman whenever she's around me. What? I'm serious. This is strange. I'm serious. Every time I want my woman, that, 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 that strong urge just, it just comes upon me and I, and I find myself struggling very hard to, to resist, you know, to, 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 to resist it. You know, the, the urge to just, to just kill. And that's why I keep letting them go. But you see, this one hurt me. Letting Quincy go is, is tearing me apart, man. You, you, you needed to see how she didn't want to go to, but... Lord, help me. It's not sounding good. Not good. What am I going to do? Then I ask myself, yeah. What is happening? What is happening to me? There's out to kill and take a life of someone I love. This force that is pushing me, pushing me to end the life. Whoa, this minute I am me, the other minute I'm a monster. What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I am me. The other minute I'm a monster, I'm a monster. Yeah. What's really happening? What's happening to me? Yeah. Somebody help me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I have come to torment you, that's why. Please, baby, you don't have to, okay? Just... Why, why not? Now you just left me all alone upstairs. I was just missing you. We just left. Uh, no, it's you, even you, up to you, 10 minutes. You didn't just decide that, come on. You just didn't leave you. You just, you know, you just disappeared. Uh, baby, baby, please, I don't want any distraction. Come here, bring that your soft body. Yeah, what's wrong with you? What distraction? Uh, we can just have a quick one here in the kitchen. What's baby, you're even confusing me. Do you know how to put this in here? Yeah, baby, that's, that, that's the plan. Well, you don't watch this in foreign movies, you know. They do, you know, they do these things in the kitchen. Uh, baby, I am trying to prepare a vegetable soup with periwinkles and assorted meat. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You Boy, will love it. I know. Sounds good to me. Uh -huh. Boy, oh boy. Now that's 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 a very good idea. But see, I have a better idea. Drop that thing. Come now. Maybe it's no, 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 just drop it. Let's go upstairs. Listen, I want to tell you something upstairs. 
Tell me here. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. Just come here, baby. Please, if you are so hungry and I need to eat something. I, I'm also hungry for something else. Calm down. Let's do it. Let's go upstairs. Mm. Uh, you know you're wanted to. Let's see. Yeah. This is your soft body here. You'll be stingy with your hair. Come, let's go. You can do it. I can't do this. I'll go in for this if I do it. I can't afford to be jailed for life or probably sentenced to death by hanging. I do not have rest for you are not where I want you to be. The arms of another woman is not the place I want. They will always come for you, for you are the ladies' man. But you are mine. You belong to me. If I was not able to have you, then no one else can. the knife and do the need for. You know how I can be. I, I, I was just, I just, I was just, uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just fooling around. You know. Sorry, I scared you. Huh? Come on, baby. Johnson. Yes, baby. Why do you always sneak around? I tell you why. I'm always sneaking around. I'm always sneaking up on you because I miss you. That's why, baby. Uh, and you have to do that with your weapon. If you stop calling it a weapon, it's it's a normal kitchen utensil. I mean, it's it's nothing. Hey, relax, okay? A bit too frazzled for my liking. Just relax, breathe, okay? I know I scared you, but yeah, that was just me playing around. Hmm? I know you are hungry. Oh yes, I'm actually hungry. Go wait for me at the dining. Hold oh, on, what's? Hmm. I like the aroma. I like. I like how this place feels. Eh? I told you you would love it. Looks like I'm in for a big treat. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> please, can you go to the dining and wait for me? I'm coming. Hold on a second. Wait at the dining or wait 
upstairs in the bedroom, which one? Don't even go there, because it will never work for you. How about I just, oh, no, slow down. How about I just lie on the bed and just wait and just watch something grow? Babe. While I wait. Go to the dining and wait for me. I am coming. <laughs> you know how many hours you make me sleep? <laughs> All right, I'm out of here already. Huh? Okay. Hey, hey, see the sight. You know you want to have my love. I think you should be I know, it's a beautiful sight. It is. And the aroma is so inviting yeah. too. to be the best cook in the world, I tell you this. I shouldn't say this, but I think you're a better cook than my mom. Babe, please, can you eat and stop talking? Of course, I'm going to, you know, eat, but I'd like to just tell you how I feel about you before I start eating. You know, I don't like to eat and talk at the same time, but, you know, it just amazes me how you're able to do the work around this house, make a very beautiful meal like this, and still look this beautiful, mm. you know. Baby? Yes? This is not the time to discuss it. Please, eat. Babe? What is it? What is that look on your face? You said you're hungry and here is the food and you can't even eat. And I'm eat. about to eat right now. Please do. You work so hard and you should eat well. Yes, I'll eat. Thank you. That is what I that's what I've been dealing with. You know. There is a force. A force stronger than me. And that force has a voice. A female voice. Watching me and then pushing me, you, you can feel the anger in that voice. You know, and that voice speaks of death. Death? Oh yes, and I'm the one expected to, to trigger the death. This can pass as the strangest moment of my life. Johnson, you mean all this has been going on and you never bothered to share it with me, your best friend? Come on now. Huh? You know what I say now? Doesn't it all sound strange hearing it now? I can't bother you with such mundane issues now. Come on. I've been battling with it thinking that I was going to find a way out of it. Every time I meet a woman that I really love, you know, it's almost as if it waits for me to fall in love. Once I have my heart in there, the force comes, begins to urge me to kill, 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 kill. You know, I begin to struggle, and because I don't want to have mother hanging over my neck, I begin to avoid this woman. And then they think I'm a player. I'm not a player. This is demonic. Totally weird and absurd. This is what I'm dealing with. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still a young man now. Is this how I'm going to get married, settle down, have my own family? I... I actually ran into Debbie the other day at a shopping mall. You did? Yes. She did not hesitate to run to me and tell me that you are hit and run. You see? Hit and run. That's how they all see me. That, that's what they term it. But everyone knows that's not who I am. I know, I know. I wonder why a cute guy would jilt a babe with rare attributes. 
darkness is beyond me. Oh, okay. An event center. Oh, wow. Not to worry. We'll give you the best, okay? Oh, <laughs> you can say that again. We are the best in town. We'll give you a good run for your money, trust me. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, so that's it. I have to go now, okay? All right, bye. Yes. Hello? Yes, this is Debbie. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you so very much. I really appreciate. Oh, okay. I, I will call you back, okay? Thank you. Okay. I will call you back, I promise. Yeah, bye. Sorry about that. It's okay. You're welcome, Mr. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Johnson. Oh, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. So, how can we help you? Okay, um, I'm a real estate developer. Okay. Uh, so I, of course, you know what that entails. So I, I build, and um, I just completed a building in the state, and I'm looking at um, um, top-notch interior decoration, you know, for that particular building, because of the kind of clients I'm looking at, wooing with that building. So a friend of mine told me about your company, and that's why I'm here. Oh, really? Oh, yes. So, it's safe <laughs> to say that you come um, highly recommended. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so funny, you know. Am I? Yes, of course you are. Okay. <laughs> so, um, where is this building situated? Off the LA Road. I don't know if you, oh, know, you know what that is. Oh, here in Asaba. Yes. Wow. Oh, handle it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Okay, uh, so uh, tell me, how, how does it work with your company? Where do we go from here? Uh, we have to physically inspect the house so we can identify some things. Let's just start from there. Makes sense. Uh, I didn't get your name. Debbie. Debbie. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice doing business with you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I hired you, eh? Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Amazing work, I must tell you. You have done an excellent work with interior decor. I'm, I'm happy. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's our job to put smiles on the faces of our customers. And I can attest to that. Mm, uh, I'm happy you like it. See what it. you did with my interior. It's, it's excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, make, I'll make a few more recommendations. Amongst my friends, I'll, I'll let them know how you work. Mm, that would be so nice. Thank you. Plus, I'd like to see you again, if you don't mind. Really? Yes. Well, you know where to find me. Your office. Sure. I'll be glad to stop by. Please do. Yeah. I'll be waiting. I have to run along right now. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Yep. You're here. I told you mm. I was going to show up here. You did? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. So do you have another job for me? Come on now, relax. Eh? Must it always be about work? Eh? Don't you make out time to enjoy yourself? Do you not have a private life? Of course I do. You do? I mean, I, I have a guy I'm seeing. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Oh, yes, I do. I have a boyfriend. Okay. I mean, I am an adult. Do you have anything against that? Nothing at all against it. Well, my guy doesn't stay here. He's based in the UK. Really? Mm. Are you kidding me right now? I mean every word of it. A distant relationship. Is that what you want? Because yeah. we all know that these young men who keep their girlfriends and their wives here in Nigeria and Liverpool, they can't be trusted, you know. 
I really do not have anything against that, honestly. I don't. All we need is trust. I agree. I mean, trust is paramount in every relationship. It's just that I'm, I'm hoping that you know better given the fact that you're educated and you're exposed, you know. I mean, we've had a lot of cases of these young men that, you know, can be relied upon to, to draw conclusions. And the truth is that these guys are not, um, they're not faithful. I'm sorry. Okay, Mr. Johnson, I don't know what you're driving at, but are you here to make me become suspicious of my guy? Not at all. You can trust him all you want. I'm just saying that you should open your eyes. Okay, listen, Mr. Johnson. I have known Alex for a very long time. As a matter of fact, we attended the same university. So you can see. It's been a long time. Can I take you out on a date tonight? That wouldn't be necessary. Oh, come on. Now it's a harmless date. I just want to say thank you for coming to my house, putting things together, making my house a home. Nothing more. I'll be nice to you, I promise. My goodness, you're here. Yes, I am. <laughs> so nice to have you here. Look Thank you. you. Looking all beautiful as usual. Thank you. This is it. <laughs> wow. Huh, this place looks beautiful. Mm. Just like you. Probably. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Debbie. I just wish that you'll be all mine. Johnson, I, I, I told you already. I have a man in my life. In the United Kingdom, you and I can build a relationship here in Nigeria. Johnson, you are talking about cheating, right? I cannot cheat on my man and I cannot double date. I've never done it and I can't even start now. You're not going to push me away because of a man that is far away in Europe. I want you. I want you. Come on now. Johnson is a cute guy, but I can't cheat on Alex. I can't possibly do that. Alex is my world. He means a whole lot to me. It will not be long. I will join him in the United Kingdom. But am I really doing the right thing? Alex hasn't been responding to my chats in an encouraging manner. Hmm. Johnson might be right that one cannot trust all these guys living abroad. Maybe he has decided to move on with a woman who is available to him there. A white or even a Nigerian woman. Who knows?
See who we have here. Mm-hmm. Well, Lord, I wasn't expecting to see you. Well, here I am. Of course, in a good way. <laughs> please, <laughs> please come and step right in. Thank you. Yeah, yeah please uh, make yourself comfortable to your left. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'll just get you something refreshing and I'll be back. Oh, don't worry. I'm fine. Are you sure? Very sure. A glass of cold juice would be really don't nice. Don't bother. I said I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. As you can see, I'm, I'm cooking something in the kitchen. Well, it won't take long. I'll be back to you. You mean you cook? Oh, yes. I have to cook sometimes. Oh. Don't, ju don't judge me now. You know, I'm a bachelor and sometimes I eat out. But sometimes I also cook. You know, like now I'm making something really, really nice. I tell you, what do you want? What would you, would you, would you like? Is there something? Um, um, really, would you want some? No, while you process it, don't worry, I'll be back. I don't even know what you're making. Don't worry, I'll be back. If I'm to oh. ask a question, then I ask myself, yeah, what is happening? What is happening, what is happening to me? There's out to kill and take a life of someone I love This force that is pushing me Pushing me to end the life Whoa, This minute I am me The other minute I'm a monster What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I am me up to her. And what is Mr. Bachelor making? Mr. Bachelor? Mm -hmm. I see you're here to tease me now. Tease you? Yes. I'm tease not teasing me. you. Sorry, I only made a statement of facts. You are Mr. Bachelor. And you are the woman of my dreams. The one that I want. The one that every part of me seeks. It's just that you have refused to give me a place in your life. Because you'll be a man who's currently in Europe. Uh, Alex would even understand if I told him how I feel about you, don't you think so? He might just tell me to have you. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, you don't have to say that. Why not? Come on. I mean it. I'm serious about how I feel about you. I mean, look at you. You, know, you were just a very goddess. Are we uh, going to cook or not? I'm trying to win your hearts, baby. You're a woman made for kings. Uh, just take a look at you. <clears throat> but seriously, what are you going to give me a chance? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I want a place in your heart, baby. You can do it. Huh? Come on, baby. Come on, your, your beauty just makes my heart race faster. See what you're doing to me now, come on. Huh? Fine, girl. This is nice, though. Mmm. It is, yeah? The reason you should consider marriage. Say that again. The reason you should consider marriage. With you. What? Yes, baby. Oh, please stop it. Listen, Johnson, you just have to close your eyes and make a pick. Make a right pick. I have to find the right woman. I have found that woman in you. Give me a chance. There is no right woman anywhere. Let me at least be the one to decide that I haven't found the right woman. Hmm? I have a right of choice, remember? Well, depends on what you want. You're the one I want. Come on, I want you. Justin, you can't possibly want me. Why can't I want you? Because I belong to someone else. Sweetheart, if you take time to think about this, you'll probably give us a chance. I'm telling you. Just ponder on it a little. You never know. Okay? You can't possibly say no to me because of Alex. I mean, he's in the UK. And I'm here. 
with you. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm just saying that I'm here with you, baby. Come on now, give me a chance. Hmm? You would love the experience, I promise you. <laughs> See your face. Stop it. Come on. Huh? I've fallen for you. I'm trying to get you to fall for me too. Johnson, can you just stop? No, I can't stop. Hmm? Why are you acting so restless? You're right. You're not going to talk to me, huh? Because you don't want to talk to me. Why? Are you refusing to be my woman? Debbie, can't you see that I'm crazy about you? Why are you being like that? I am in a very serious relationship. I have a guy in my life. So you're going to hurt my feelings by expressly telling me that Alex is better than me? Come on, Johnson. I have not said that. And of course, you know, there's no way I can make such comparison. You might not have said that all right, but as a human being, I have the right to, to understand things, how I, how I feel about it. Okay, that, that, that's, that's what I feel you're saying. If you leave me, there is no telling what I'm going to do to myself, baby. Please. Please don't go. The plan is not to upset you. The plan is to... to win you over and make you my woman. Okay? Please. I'm crazy about you. I beg you, don't go. Breakfast in bed, baby. See who's still in bed now, huh? Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it morning or morning? Yes, baby, it's morning. Good morning, baby. Good morning, baby. Baby! Yes, baby. <laughs> I come ready. We're breakfast in bed, right? I know. Sometimes I just try to be romantic, I know. I know I try. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Hmm, baby. Yes, honey. Come on, baby, it's nothing, okay? I just um, Thank you. thought I'd be nice to you this morning. By the way, I got a call to be somewhere this morning, so let me just I'll go dress up. Baby. Yes, baby, I have to go. Money. Money, business. <laughs> so let me just get ready, I'll be with you in a bit. Baby! Yes, baby. It's weekend. I know. Uh, money calls. I still can't believe I just cheated on Alex. <sighs> this is the first time a guy is treating me spatially. I love you, baby. If I'm to ask a question, then I'll ask myself, yeah. What is happening? What is happening to me? This out to kill and take a life of someone I love. This force that is pushing me, pushing me to end the life. Oh, this minute I am me. I am me. The other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What, is happening? what is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I am me. The other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What's really happening? What's happening to me? Yeah. Somebody help me. 
don't know what to do Cause this is getting out of hand oh, And I'm losing myself yeah, I, Somebody help me Cause it looks like I'm going insane oh, And this is getting out of hand oh, I don't know what to do <laughs> Finally, I got this one, eh? Same one that was playing hard to get. The one that I thought I'd never get. Eh? But just like others, she finally gave in, and I am not disappointed at all. Oh, yeah, for she is sweet, and she is worth the long wait. Huh? Eh? Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. Ah, I have indeed come a long way with women. And with this one, it's going to be different. I deliberately put her to test. Left the house to see the kind of woman she is. If she's just going to sit around, press her phones and do nothing. Because I like me a very cultural woman, one who would do chores around the house without being asked to do so. My kitchen is in a bloody, bloody mess, and I'm just going to wait and see if she's going to fix it or just leave it. Let's see how it goes. Thank you. Of handle, and I'm losing myself. 
Risk your life with me. Jackson, I love you. I don't know how else to say this to you, but I love you. And I will go extra miles to make sure that your mental state is handled. I'm not mad, Debbie. Oh. Johnson, you are. No, you are. Tell me, what will make a sane mind want to mother someone? What? Johnson, you are mentally unstable. And that is what medical science can handle. 